What's up, guys? Welcome to the Kind of Funny Reacts for the fate of the Furious. As always, I'm Tim Geddes, joined by Andy Cortez. How's it going? Mr. Maximum Cortez, Cortez himself. I sure am. And to his left, we have Brianne Chandler. I'm here. A.K.A. Miss Movies. I didn't miss this one, though. You didn't. I saw this movie. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Ew. Whoa, like that. <laughs> and the producer slash seducer. Nick Scott, Top of the evening to all of Top you. Top of the evening to you as well. Let's go around the table, of course. Spoiler free. Spoiler free for first. Oh, for the first dear. conversation. Then okay. there'll be a moment. So don't worry. This is spoiler free. But going around the table, Nick, did you like it or not? I did. I liked it a lot. And obviously, if you're a Fast and the Furious fan, you have to see this in the theaters. Uh, it is it, it is decreed. That is the decree. You have to see this in the big screen. Um, it was good. It was fun. It was, I, I think it was a great entry into the series. Um, I don't necessarily think it's the 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 best, but it's definitely it's definitely up there in my book. Um, and I, I think it's a lot of fun. I think everyone delivered great performances. I think it's arguably one of the most cohesive um, from start to finish Fast and Furious we've seen in a long time. Of course, it's not taking away anything from Seven because Seven, of course, had the problems based on Paul Walker unfortunately dying. Um, but yeah, but it was good. I liked it. Miss movies. Um, I liked the movie as well, but I did feel like something was missing, obviously, that being Paul Walker. Um, but I found that I enjoyed this storyline. <laughs> I mean, the only one that I really did not like was the second film's storyline. But other than that, I found that it was a fun storyline. Definitely, um, gosh, a lot is happening in this film. Mm -hmm. Like, you really can't go to the bathroom at pretty much any moment because you're going to miss something. Except for the hacking scenes. There was a couple of hacking scenes that lasted a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Um, I really liked it. I was laughing nonstop. It was super fun. You and Kevin were chuckling like two idiots Good over Lord. there. Good Lord. Oh, my God. It was so much fun, dude. I, I mean, I had a blast. So, again, I agree with Nick. I don't think it's the best of the series, but I had a fucking blast. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so, for some background on The Fast and Furious, Nick, obviously, you are a veteran of the series. Everybody knows that. Yes. Brianne, where do you fall in your love for, for the family? My love for the family, the I necklace. fall. I mean, I, yeah, I have the necklace. I have a shirt. My goodness. I don't know how much more I could love this family. I think I'm in this family. Um, I see myself as Mia, but she's, you know. She's off to, to We don't see her. But so when, when did you get on the bandwagon for the whole thing? Because, you know, you've right. had 20 years to, to do it. 20 years? This franchise is happening? Something like that, right? I mean, no way, 2001. Up, yeah, but it's coming up on it. Well, it's it's kind close. Of. It's close. <laughs> we're, it's we're like two decades, decades, we're two decades than one decade. years. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, I've said this before. I've seen these movies out of order um, because that's what happens in my life. I miss movies. Um, so I saw one, two, then followed by four, oh. and then seven. That was how it originally happened, and then Whoa. eventually I just bought the DVDs and decided I was going to go through the entire thing. Cause I wanted to close those gaps. Mm -hmm. Um, especially cause my husband does own a drift car and like drifts Hell and yeah. does drift competitions. So I figured I should probably watch Tokyo drift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. yeah it's a definitive movie about drifting. Truth be told. It's it's scientifically very accurate. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. Very so accurate. Andy, <laughs> what is your history of the fast and furious we'll franchise? I think I definitely have the most interesting history with this franchise. Uh, two days ago, on the morning show, you handed me the stack of seven DVDs and said... Blu-rays. 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 And said, you're going to watch all these movies before Thursday. And we're going to we're gonna have a good time. And we sure did. Mm -hmm. So my first night, I watched all four. I, I saw one through four. Mm -hmm. um, that's rough. Yeah. That, that's a little well, rough. A little it, rough. You got some highs and some lows in There's there. definitely a man. And the lows go really low. They go real low. We're uh, all talking about we're looking at YouTube. And then uh, <laughs> two nights ago, or last night, I watched five and six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And today, during work, I watched seven. And uh, yeah, so it's just been nonstop emotional roller coaster. Mm -hmm. I've been a fucking mess. You literally had a headache. I had a headache, yeah. <laughs> going I, I, into this movie. You know, seven, you know, ends on kind of a sad note and a little, little misty eyed, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh uh, yeah, so that's my history. I think it's like probably the weirdest history of all of them because I pretty much saw eight movies in three days. But not only that, you went from being one of those guys that's like, nah, this is stupid. Oh, totally. Yeah, I was totally the guy who, it's a, it's a shitty fucking popcorn movie. Who's, who cares? Like, 
and uh, <laughs> and I'm hung- I'm part of the family, guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, you're <laughs> we when you're here, you're hungry. Your yeah. family. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful moment when you go from. I think you, you pulled up a tweet earlier, and I forget who uh, it was from. Uh, but they said it, it's it's a weird thing when you go from it goes from irony to but then being part of the family. Yeah, like yeah. very quickly, and that happens. <laughs> you watch the first one, you're like, I can't believe they made this movie. This yeah. is the most obscene like car porn movie you've ever seen, like import car porn movie you've ever seen in your entire mm-hmm. life. Then you watch two, and you're like, how? How did they green light a third one? And then Bow Wow comes on the screen. Ooh. You're like, Twinkie. now a lot of people think it's Han that saved that the, the franchise. Don't, do not do this, Nick. It's don't actually even, Bow Wow even. that really brought it back. Yeah. Selling those Jordans on the street. Yeah. Bring it, building it up the from iPods. the street up. The Bow Wow sold enough iPods to kids in Japan that he got the whole car. Mm-hmm. The thing the about, think about much incredible. IPods he must Tim, have sold. The thing is this. In Japan, this is, you don't understand this, hmm. how the technology works. Oh, okay. It starts in Northern California and then goes to Japan eventually. Mm. So they're so starved for mm-hmm. good technology in yeah. Japan, they have to have those iPods. Oh, well, I guess exactly. that they, they do, but that's, that's, uh, there must be an upcharge there to get that whole car. I'm being totally facetious, <laughs> that, thing, that thing must cost a lot of money. The whole car was the bomb. Yeah, it was. was but when I love back- how excited he is to like show yeah. him that, hey, this is my car. Scene. When it, when it comes up, down, though, my life be like, oh. But when it was ah. backing up, though, I, I thought like, oh, somebody hit the back of his car. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, Until it turned around, you see mm-hmm. the fit. That was the bomb. That was the bomb. I actually love that car. So going back to... So Tokyo Drift. Going back to Fate of the Furious. This is the first Fast and Furious movie I've seen since four Mm -hmm. that I walked out disappointed. Really? Yeah. Having said that, I think this is a great movie. I think it was a lot of fun. I was laughing the entire time. It is still a good Fast and Furious movie. Incredibly over the top. I am it is, but I'm disappointed in how lacking it was in over the top moments compared to how much the ante was upped in the last three installments. Yeah, I mean, we, we were talking in the car, and one of the one of my points of feedback was I was like, there were really good moments in this. They were really fun choreographed action scenes, uh, the car stuff, I thought they did some interesting things there, but there just wasn't that one moment that built to like the car going through the tip of the of the airplane as the whole thing yeah. blew up, as we just finished this amazing, like ridiculously over the top scene, or, to to put in context of a more uh, you know of seven, there wasn't that. Oh, we've seen them jump from from one building to the other. There's another building. Yeah. yeah, there was there's there was no another building moment. Not to say that the other moments weren't good. Yeah, it just was like, it's 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 getting exponentially harder and harder to make those wow moments because you exactly. jumped the car out of every possible fucking place in the stratosphere. Mm-hmm. Literally planes, buildings. We've seen, we've almost seen it all at this point. Yep. And now they're like, the only thing we've got left is a submarine. So let's, let's utilize let's underwater. And so, so, so let's, we're calling it now. We're now in spoiler territory. Mm-hmm. Spoiler so, mode. Wait, we so are you we saying have, there's no climax to the movie? Is it's that not that there's saying? no, there's no climax. There's just, mm-hmm. there isn't, the, I mean, uh, what Nick was alluding to a second ago is there wasn't a single scene, action scene, big moment in this movie that we didn't see in the trailer. Okay, And gotcha. that is not true for the last couple Fast and Furious mm-hmm. movies where most of them were seen, but there was always something that made yes. you go, but, what? Okay. Yeah. Whereas with that, Seven, it had two of them. One of them was the second building jump, yeah. and the other sure. was the freaking laser, um, like, fucking jet thing that they had to fight that mm. the rock took down with the minigun. Yeah. yeah. So I mean like but but that's the thing like referencing 7 obviously which is the which is the um the last I guess I don't I don't rem- really remember 7 that much. And unfortunately I think I it's just because it. 7 was a little bit incoherent because due to the loss of Paul mm-hmm. Walker in the film, right? I I would love to have seen what James Wan had really like what the team had planned for mm-hmm. that. Had Paul Walker unfortunately not died, um, because I think that would have been actually one of the one of the standouts of the franchise. But as is, I got to put this one above that. Oh my god! Because at really? least because no of the co- way. because of the cohesion. Because no, at least man. there was mm. like there was a start to finish story. I thought there was some really fun cameos in this. There was there yeah. was there was a lot of fun cameos. Wait, I'm sorry, are we in spoiler territory. We're in spoiler, now? We're in spoiler yeah. territory. Wait, so now. everyone agrees we if, people should see this film in the theaters. Yeah. based yes. solely yes. on yes. Helen Mirren. Yeah, <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> spoil stuff now. We're, so if you don't want the spoil for you, I love you so much. Going in. I'm just letting people know. I we wanted Helen Mirren to like, <laughs> just letting people know. Yeah. I wanted Helen Mirren to pop up in the submarine. But what I do yeah. think, I want to go back to you saying, you know, we didn't see anything new that wasn't from the trailer. But I feel like we saw more emotional things that weren't in the trailer. Dom cried. The kid, we, the kid, Dom yes. had tears. It was this fucking CGI tear. That's bullshit. Yeah, no, that's yeah. true. <laughs> they had There's like no a. Oh, come on, guys. He's truly our trained. On that. Yeah. Well, no. I'm sure. I, you know, I'm sure there was some. Uh, there was some wizardry in there. But um, no, the kid actually got me. Mm-hmm. The fact yes. that they were talking about that. The fact that you knew mm-hmm. beyond a shadow Elena. of a doubt when she was like, "I named him a middle name," but I thought his father should name him. I was like, 
Name it's yeah. going to be Brian. Yeah. yeah. It's going to have to be I, Brian. I straight up, I looked at you. I'm like, it's Brian or it's Paul. Brian. What if it it's wasn't? Brian or Paul. Yeah, oh, fuck it. That well, it could have been. That would have been, been sad. Now, to be fair, it would have been a weird name for a kid. It was Paul. But it realistically should have been Han. Because it should have been Han, in man. this world, you should have done Brian's it for fucking still, Han. Brian's still alive. alive. You're right. You're right. So yeah, why would you yeah. name your kid after that when Super Han? Weird. Although to be fair, they're brothers, mm. though. I can see that. That's like true. You, That's you true. can't just name someone just because someone dies. Bro, like bro. I, I'll give it to them. How fucking? Bruh. You better hey, pump bruh. the brakes. Han was a brother Han too, was, my friend. Han was <laughs> okay, and Han was fucking there for him. You didn't see Vin Diesel fly to fucking like Tokyo just to hang out with Brian. No, he flew there to avenge Han's fucking death. All right. You want to hang and out with and Sean. talk to Lucas Black for some reason. I can't remember why they did that. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you know he was. What, he needs what a are you doing here it in does. Tokyo? I don't what know. Is that an accent? Why am I still here in Tokyo? <laughs> I'm 44 Life's years like old. Life's like box chocolate. No, no, you gonna get. Um, but I, had, I thought this movie had a lot of great things. Um, Roman, for one, Roman was, was fun. on point yeah. the entire yeah, film. Was. Everything that came out of his mouth was something that I laughed at. That's much. one thing that I was telling Tim about in the vehicle on the drive over here. Why did I say vehicle? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, is that uh, in, in every other movie, I never, like I never really like felt like Roman was written as well as he could have been. I think in this movie is like. Where it was, everything was funny. Everything he said was really funny, and he was written really well. And I enjoyed the shit out of his character. Where in prior movies, yes. I was like, "Tyrese, you're trying too hard, See, man." I, th I, I thought they nailed him in seven because I agreed with you in the, the in five and six with him. Yeah. But I thought seven was where they really kind of found the right amount of him, especially with the him and Ludacris kind of like sure, yeah, rivalry thing. Th there were still but, moments I enjoyed. But this, but this movie, it, my biggest issue with it, besides it not upping the ante, was I feel like it kind of just redid things that we've already seen before in even more right. like tame well, I mean, ways. Like the rock scene the with his daughter. Movie. I know, but like the rock and his daughter and that whole scene of, hey, we're going to have you and it's going to look like I'm talking to a military yeah, group or I knew whatever. that they were talking and to you soccer knew it was kids. kids. <laughs> that was the same gag that they did in the last movie with Paul Walker sitting there in the van. And like sure. shifting whatever, and then he like <laughs> band, he like yeah. goes to park and like he's looking at his kid and talking to him. Oh, okay, I, like, I there totally was so about much that. shit like that where I'm like, we, yeah, we've literally seen this exact situation play sure. out, and I feel like the Roman um, Tej relationship is like it's so overdone now. And then fighting over the girl still, yeah, still, yeah. I mean, how long have we been like that? That's true. Um, I feel like on some level though, and maybe the writers were just like, hey, we have to make up a little bit of ground that we lost in the last film. Just on on a little bit of a level, you know, because like because it was so disjointed and things were so weird toward the end of that one. Um, but that's not there. When you're talking about problems in a film like Fast and Furious, you have to be you, have, you basically have to be like, look, there's this this film is a, is a fun action film that you're basically it did what it needed to do for me, which was it allowed me to sit there and eat a, t a tub of popcorn, a whole thing of <laughs> peanut butter, trip &Ms. over some woman's bag so I, on your way out to the restaurant. Bag. <laughs> it was great. There's not a lot of things that, that I feel so inclined to really complain about in this. Yeah. Right? Sure, there's some stuff that I'm like, okay, this, uh, pacing was a little weird here and there. It was really the only the pacing thing, was bad, man. The only thing that I and I'm joking, I joked about this with you a little bit, but but it's kind of a serious point, is that they, we just, all of a sudden, for no reason, just, we're cool with Statham now. Dude, no. And that's like, it's, even in weird. this, even in this universe, you're like, you would, like, this is the first time, by the way, at the barbecue at the end, is the first time, if I'm not mistaken, that Dom has seen Statham, oh, well, actually, I guess he shot him. He um, shot him, yeah. As he ran mm -hmm. at him. But like, this is the guy that killed Han. Dude, so Statham's and, a good guy now. I don't know if the previews really show that. So no, they, they definitely okay. did not. Yeah, they, okay. it, this, this is the thing where no, it's we, just they, like, the if there's one character to it. in all of entertainment that I hold near and dear to my heart, it's Han. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this whole franchise is centered around this fucking character. This in my, is in why my, you're in my frustrated heart. with yeah. this film. And I'm so frustrated with it because I'm like, mm -hmm. nah, man. Like, this, I do not buy it. And I, I'll give them the credit that... They had to do something. They had to keep things going. And adding down. the baby and adding the Statham baby scenes. I'm like, mm -hmm. you were trying your damn best to make me be okay with mm -hmm. this. Yes. But th him showing up at the barbecue at the end. He got invited to the barbecue. No, nah, man. He, he had didn't to bring that the, invite. He had to he the baby. He was, he was the baby oh, driver. Yeah. You know, this is the prequel to that movie, maybe. Who the That's fuck true, knows? Maybe, but maybe. no, I, I had a problem. Many, many, many mm -hmm. problems with yeah. that. However... I think I might be okay with it eventually. I need to sleep on this. I need to see how he, I feel. So here's the deal. He... This is about as much character arc and resolution as we're going to get out of the Fast and Furious. But saving Dom's child gets him the pass in yes. my book. But I just don't like that there was literally zero mention of Han in this film zero whatsoever. Zero mention, man. And, right? and so going back to but what I was saying. But I still hold the fact that if Luke Evans can be alive, 
Bring yeah. back on. So, so, <laughs> so bring so back on. Here's, here's the thing. So, but this this goes into what I'm saying. We're th- we're at a point now where they're not even introducing new cool twists. They're just mm-hmm. going back to old plot points. Sure. So the idea of like Fast and Furious one is. Uh, Dom and Brian kind of against each other. And oh shit, yes. Brian's a cop, but by the end of it, yes, they're cool. Yes, point break. Right? Boom. Then you go forward and it's just like, all right, cool. Then now in Fast Five, there's The Rock and we're enemies, mm-hmm. but now we're cool. And it's like, now we're doing that again with Statham? It's like, so they're going to be hanging out with Charlize Theron by Fast 10. Probably. Yeah. You know? Maybe. And it's She's like, family that's, now. that's kind of an she issue Atlantis, when it's just really the matter. same things over and over and over. Well, but that's but here's here's the problem. Right? You're, see, you're starting to see a little bit of the problem with, with making the eighth installment into a franchise. Like at a, some, a certain point, there's only so many things you can do with cars in an ensemble cast. And that was the other problem that I felt like this movie had was there's probably two to three too many people in this mm-hmm. ensemble at this point, right? Like Scott Eastwood? You have to, well, Scott Eastwood <laughs> was an interesting addition to the cast that I didn't feel like, no knock against Scott Eastwood, but I just, I'm like, why is this character here? Why do we need this other character explaining what's going on? Because that's Mr. Nobody's job, right? We've also got yeah. Hobbs' job as the person to explain what's going on. And we, we like, so I just felt like at any given point, they had to give everyone something to do. And then at, a, mm-hmm. at like, by the third t- thing that was happening in the action, on, on the planes of action, you're like, I'm not really that invested in what this person's doing. Well, especially like, we got to go to the control tower. We got master hackers here. Well, we, gotta, we have we Ludacris gotta... as the hacker character. Right. And now we get the other hacker God character. God bless his evolution from Too Fast, Too Furious, yeah. where he was just <laughs> running you know, illegal way racing. Yeah. Yeah, jet ski but, races. Um, he's a hacker, but then it's like, all right, cool. Then we have uh, Ramsey. Natalie. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ramsey, whatever whatever her last name is. Right. Um, in there, and she's <laughs> also a hacker. And then, oh, Charlize Theron's a hacker. And it's like, they're trying to out-hack each oh, other. Right. And it was just like. That was the only scene that I looked at Kevin, and I was like, this is so dumb. I'm like, I'm not. This is really bad. Well, because you said it the best way, where it's like, is not entertaining. Yeah. No, I well, mean, watching people. Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. We also see a trailer for Atomic Blonde right before this film, and then Charlize Theron does nothing in this movie no. in terms of like kicking ass. I'm like, where, where is that? I'll Just give it to, to her, though. The, the, the thing brain. I liked about her the most was I was saying this earlier. She has two modes of dialogue. One is, I'm going to whisper something so it sounds really evil. And the other is, I'm going to make just a really obvious one-liner about what's happening. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. the whole zombie scene when she's like, it's zombie time. And then when the cars were, like, flying out of the parking lot, she's Which like, was a fun make moment, it rain. Where does she that have all these moment. resources? Who is funding her? She is. Like, she, I need she has to know. Is it Twitch? I loved how much... It's, it's probably Amazon. Yeah, it's Amazon. Yeah, it's Amazon. It's Amazon. It's Absolutely. Amazon. <laughs> but I, my, I think that the thing that this movie did best, uh, if... I think probably better than any of the other uh, installments in the franchise is the choreography of the action mm. was brilliant. I think the pacing of whether it was a fist fight or a chase or anything, the opening the movie with a, a straight up street race and using the, the car on fire mm. and having to do reverse and stuff, I'm like, great, that's awesome. And then the prison escape scene was the best Hand to hand fight. I, I scene felt like I was straight up had. watching Guardians of the Galaxy Prison Break with, like, The Rock was Drax in this movie. Yeah, oh, where he's the just Rock became where he's just a punching superhero in this movie. Fourteen human beings and throwing them in the that air. That was like, fun. He was straight up Drax. So and shout, I loved let's it. let's let's stop for a second. Shout out to The Rock. He is awesome. Without shout The Rock, so this movie's Rock. not that. And this movie is fifty yeah. percent less entertaining. I agree. Every scene he's in. Um, was I think scene stealing, like mm-hmm. movie stealing. Yeah. I, the, the prison breakout sequence. Sorry, Greg's texting me. Um, was. The most fun, I think, sequence in the entire film. Me too. Um, he has all the great, best lines. I liked, I you know, I liked some of the soccer stuff. That's I was like, I know what's going to happen here, but I want to see him. I want to like that's part of the Rock's charm is that you just like Anything I know what I'm going to get with the Rock. I want to yeah. see it right. I, um, and I loved all the stuff with him and Statham. I have a question for you guys. When Charlize Theron like shows him something on this phone, what did you think she was showing him? Let's go oh. around the table. Okay, um, <laughs> you go first. I, I thought it was something baby related. I did not think it was his baby. I thought that, that there was some other shit going on, but I, I did not know. I thought it was Han related. I would have oh. fucking oh. died. I thought it was like, here's Han alive. Oh my, see, I know. see, see, I know. <laughs> Imagine what this movie could have been if that was the plot. See, that is a thing where I'm like, oh, Dom's turning on his family for Han. I get it. And they never they never showed the screen, and I was like, oh, you fucking just show what is it? Oh man, I thought it it was gonna be um, Brian's, but both of Brian's kids. Mm. Oh, okay. See, they can't do that though because of real world politics. Because it would be too much like getting close to his character. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but that's but I mean that's that's the general flaw in this is that I think like I actually liked that it was his kid. I think that anything else would have been like what did you think would it have would begged be, the I, I i didn't know but i knew it, was it wasn't gold gonna be, in a briefcase well i knew it wasn't gonna be one of the team right because i was like mm-hmm. that's 
you can't just hold up a picture of Letty and be like, I'm going to kill Letty, right? Which is essentially what yeah. would have happened if you were like Brian's kids. Which, by the way, we already did that in seven. For the people right? watching six. this who are just watching it, it to six? watch it no, and don't was... know what happened, uh, Dom had a kid with Elena. Right. And that he didn't know about. Yeah. That he had no idea. This and you don't know who's Elena. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah she's um, Although, shout out, you were talking Chris about Helen's wife. I love Is Helen really? Mirren. Mm-hmm. That's fucking amazing. Yes. Uh, oh, Luke Shaw coming back, Luke or Owen Shaw, L- Luke Evans. Like that was really random, but all right, sure. I guess. Um, but the the dudes, the the Latin the guys, the Dominican guys, oh my god, the Cuban guys, yeah, that finally so making cool. a reappearance. That, that was, was awesome. great. That was awesome. Um, and then fuck, there was another one, the, the cameo that happened. Ooh, uh, I think it was just those that, was, that launched me into this. Aside from whole thing. Elena, damn it. Oh, Elena, yeah, yeah. 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 Elena. That I mean, yeah. th- didn't ever expect her to come back. I know so. her uh, death really hit me Holy because shit. I, was, I wasn't expecting it <laughs> as a mom. Once again, yeah. I'm like, no, this is I, I think of myself in that position and I'm like, what would happen to my children? Yeah. Not, not <laughs> that a superhero <laughs> Dom's going to take care of it and not <laughs> yes, give a shit that goodness. you're dead at the end of the barbecue. Yeah. He's like, hey, everyone, it's my son. And it whispers, sorry, your mom's dead. Yeah. <laughs> but like, whatever. We're not going to we don't care about this kid. Yeah. yeah I I, I, it's not that I wasn't expecting her to die. I just like. I didn't think that they were actually going to shoot her. Like, mm. I, I don't know that when that it happened, I was extreme. like, the stakes are real. Like, there's <laughs> like, this yeah. is real shit. Yeah. yeah. There's, there was a lot of interesting choices made. And obviously I think they're like bringing Satan back into the fold of the family and making him a mainstay character is pretty huge. That's, it is. That's awesome. And he's clearly going to be in other iterations of the franchise. I was saying, I really want them to now start doing a star Wars story one-off movies with the, in the past. We've, we've had awesome. enough of them. Yeah. Like, yes. let's see what Hobbs and Statham do together. I, I don't know what Didn't Statham's Didn't they already Statham's do Han's is. story? It's called Better Luck Tomorrow. Exactly. They, yeah. Which I watched last night. Oh, so good. For the first time in like 10 years. Oh my and gosh, man, so good. I, I remember liking it and now I watched mm-hmm. it. I'm like, oh, fuck, it was way better than I thought it was. Mm-hmm. That was made on credit cards. And it, was, it's, and it was great. So good. Shout out to shout out to Han's prequel story. But the, the movie ends with, with Hobbs telling his daughter... You know, yeah, daddy's staying home. Daddy's staying home. They've or done whatever. that before. So but he said, he was like, what did he say? It's been like 16 years. Yeah, I've been doing this for I've been doing this 16 years. years. So it's almost like this, the whole franchise. Setting up the prequel. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Yeah. Let's see. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of things they could do. I mean, going back to something you were saying earlier about the, that, oh, it's a popcorn movie. And, yeah. you know, like we can only hold it to so much. I disagree with that only in the sense that, like, I do hold this franchise to a higher degree than just, oh, flash, flash, bang, bang. Like, they've, Paid so much attention to this stupid ass world that they've yeah. built with so many dumbass twists, and they've tried to fill the the plot holes. Not of the plot not making sense, because who the fuck cares about the hacking and all that stuff and why it matters? They filled all the holes of how the characters are related and why all this stuff's happening. And at the end of the day, it's all about family. And as dumb as that is, they stuck to that, and they were like, "We're just going to keep becoming superheroes and make this mm-hmm. better and better and better." And I think that they missed the mark in terms of upping the action. In, in any sense, but I will give them credit that at the end of the day, this movie did a good job of going back to what this whole thing is about, which is family, and they introduced their family, Dom's actual family with the kid, and introducing the idea that the Shaw brothers have a mom, there is a whole family, and there is, they're maybe not as bad as you think, and they yes. have their own perspective in the their Shaw brothers story. movie is what I'm <laughs> and interested that, in. And that'd be great, but and it's just <laughs> like, I liked that, that they were really, yeah. it was pitting families against each other, and it was mm-hmm. still all about the damn families. I liked it, and, and I liked. It. I mean, they didn't do a great job of explaining away why Owen Shaw and and his brother were evil assholes, but they did sort of mm-hmm. seed it out that maybe she was treating him the same way Dom was being treated. So you get that kind of like perspective of like maybe they're not so bad, and maybe we can't. I mean, by by the end, of, by by the second he put the headphones on the baby, I'm like. All is forgiven. <laughs> and that, and that <laughs> was forgiven. I mean, but see, you that, just got me. That was Statham. a great choice that they did mm-hmm. because they really, they were like, they we humanized gotta, him. We yeah. got to humanize Statham. We got to make yeah, him likable because the scene between him right. and The Rock didn't do it. No, it was bad. Which is why they need to go back and reshoot certain movies from the perspective of the bad guy so we know where they're coming from because maybe they are just human and they're doing this because of some other reason. The cipher. I mean, I love it because like, if, if we get somehow from this a prequel movie that is the Owen brothers and they actually do have some relationship with Han in Tokyo mm-hmm. and like so because oh, okay. he was there he was in Tokyo yeah, he knew what's up, right? yeah. Right? and he has uh, an aged day so he'll yeah exactly he'll, he'll <laughs> be fine. Fine. the thing is I, I'm just calling it now Han's not dead they're bringing him back 
It's See, but again, that would go back, back to what on. I'm saying, where it's like you're just you can't reuse these plot points over and over because then all of a sudden it's not special anymore. Like, well, so yeah, another but dumb but franchise. Like, it's, that a soap, I it's a soap opera. I mean, that's what we're watching. It's an action. I know, soap but opera it reaches a point where I give up, and I'm like, you're not giving the people that actually love this and care about it what they are looking for. So, what are what's you the looking point? for, Tim? I'm looking for action twists and character development with these characters like that's that's there's really there's it. something more there's something I, yeah. I don't know it, it reminds me of a, <laughs> another like horrible franchise that I love which is mm. the Saw franchise mm. and I love mm. that franchise because the twists at the end and they kept up in the ante and they, dude. Doing, they were doing a good ass <laughs> job of it yeah. and then it hit a point where it's like all right one two and three were fucking awesome and then it's like oh it's the apprentice again and oh there's another apprentice mm. and oh there's a third well apprentice. yeah it's the, it's the problem it's the scream conundrum right and I'm like, Come where, on, like scream man. had such an awesome like twist it was probably one of the best twists of any horror film ever made. And then it's like, how the hell do you up that? And they try with two, and you're like, nah. It just didn't two work. Two was just terrible. It was well, not. Three but was that's what right. disappoints me. It's not my job for me to come up with sure. how to up it. And I feel mm -hmm. like they've done such a good job in this franchise of upping it. And this one was the first time it didn't It didn't excel. It was just like, oh, it was good. I think that it's a mid-ranking in terms of the overall thing. But I, going back right. to the choreography, like... I don't want to sell it short because although the action scenes weren't bigger and more spectacular, I do think they were more well thought out. Yeah. And I appreciate that you could tell the writers stopped and thought and they were like, what can we do with cars? We've done everything. What can we do? Yeah. And they're like, all right, what about zombie cars? Yeah, that was cool. They fucking did it. And that was, that's awesome. That was a fun concept. What, cool. if, what if we did like a Mexican standoff with cars and shot grapple hooks? I fucking love that How could scene. you get out of that? Oh, oh my God. It was... Awesome! Like that yeah. whole scene was one was of the fun. best in the entire franchise. Which is why they franchise. need Oscars for stunt coordination, and I'm kind of sad that they haven't really put that into place yet. They should, and that scene deserves one because well, they're working man, on that. It's that like coordination awesome. and like actual stunt performers because people put their life on the line for for sometimes for ridiculous movies. Yeah, and it's sad. And we enjoy the shit out of them. <laughs> and we too. The grappling scene. I was telling you all on the walk over here. Was the most Dragon Ball Z scene mm. ever, where where Vin Diesel's car is like the Majin Buu, and everybody around them like has their blasts on him, right? And they're trying to contain <laughs> him. And uh, I forgot who I don't, I don't know if it was a uh, who calls out like it's two thousand horsepower in there, and he's fucking like Ludicrous. and f yeah, and then fucking Diesel's doing his thing. That's three thousand horsepower, and then fucking Statham's like that's five thousand horsepower, nine thousand, and yeah, and it was just like <laughs> is what we were waiting for. Like, for some reason, like his car was like more powerful than theirs for some like silly fucking reason, but it was so cool. And then he yeah. gets out of it, and it was. Fucking awesome! It was I love fucking that awesome, scene. man. I just and, love and how also, he's unscathed every single. There's yeah. not a scratch on him ever. Yeah. When, he, when he came out in that fucking mask with the the chainsaw, mm -hmm. thinking like, oh shit, get yeah. it, fucking get it. <laughs> yeah, right now, but get but the it. opening scene, going back to it, I'm so happy they started this movie with a street race. I'm so happy mm -hmm. that he was in some broke ass car, and when it lit on fire, I was like, all right, this is cool. I want to know but how much I want time. Some more, I want some more of like something to happen and I, I thought they were just gonna he was just gonna win on fire and that'd be it but no he fucking turns around and starts going in reverse and uses the flame as like a fucking turbo boost I'm like this is fast and furious yeah. fucking thank yeah, you yeah I I'm sorry uh, I really liked that first scene and that, that whole first segment I'm like wow this movie's got me like I really mm -hmm. we're back into this world um it it I wanted more of that though and it, 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 got, it just went from like, like that to me was, I'm like, oh, this is great, man. This is like 80% of what this movie needs to be. And then it went to 175% and it just kind of stayed there. And I was like, all right, cool. Like the zombie car stuff was great. That was, and then there was a lot of really fun stuff. But again, I feel like pacing in these films is starting to be a problem. Everything is pedal to the fucking metal. And that scene is a perfect example of like, we had really nice moments there, right? We had really... They had some good tender moments between him and Letty, and that was cool. And then we have nothing else for the rest of the movie that's like that. Well, talking about pacing issues, like again, and this is a Fast and Furious problem that we've had many times before, but the last scene was 45 minutes of them on the ice. Yes. And it's just like, man, I feel Going like back to at six. least they were smart this time. Like, these scenes can get cut. 10 miles away. And we're like, okay, cool. So we know this is going to be at least 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. If they're driving 60 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> Like so, that was yeah, that was that was interesting. I didn't dislike that, and I thought that had some fun moments too. Like I thought, I thought you, it had great moments. You brought up the part moments, where where uh, Dom hits the car, like all the, the the missiles go and destroy that stuff. Um, all the <laughs> stuff with radical. Roman was fun. It was cool. And but the torpedo shout and out Hobbs. Yeah. I just don't know about that. The, the final scene of it where he he does the whole air drift thing that right. I obviously learned from Han. Dodges the torpedo. It blows up the submarine. He rolls out of the uh, car yes. on the ice. More it's things insane. are blowing up. All the, car, all the cars come and fucking block him. Like it's a like, big hug. 
yes. That was, like the, that was one <laughs> that of those great. type of moments that I'm like, I, this is what I want from Fast and Furious. And mm-hmm. the one scene that we still haven't got that I, I feel like at this point, uh, we we missed the mark of of this happening in the the franchise. Like this should have happened in like Fast Six or Seven. I want The Rock to just straight up a car becoming Adam and him just stop it. Mm. You know, and like, we're not that far away. Is it gonna have to go though? <laughs> we're not that far away. Well, yeah. that's the thing. It's like, all right, when are they going to space? It has to happen. And like, <laughs> there was rumors they got to go to space next. and then they got to time travel. And I think that we'll get there. Time eventually. travel needs to happen next time because it's uh, Fast Nine. So it, we're going back to stop Hitler. Oh, oh, nine. Holy oh. shit! <laughs> nine. Yeah. Nine. All I want. We got to get to ten because all I want is the fast, fast ten. ten your seatbelts. That, oh, fast ten <laughs> no. your seatbelts. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get. Fucking to 10. sign her I'm up. Pretty sure yeah. we're get to 10. I'm in. Yeah. We, I'm, in, I'm in. So before we we leave, rankings. Where does this mm. land for you? Mm. And we don't even need to get to. No, I mean, I think I again, I think this was really fun. I think it's a, it's a great addition to the franchise. I don't think it's the best Fast and Furious movie ever made, but that's not to, de- to, to demean it in any way, shape, or form. Um, I personally put it above seven just because I felt seven was a little too disjointed, even though they tried their best with it. Um, it's definitely clearly not above six or five, and I don't put it above one. So I'd probably put it somewhere in the mid range. Mm-hmm. Above four, I think it was more fun than four. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Tokyo Drift was a little bit maybe more fun than it. But um, still good, in my opinion. The I mean, again, the, the one thing that we haven't talked about at all, and that I do want to get your opinions on, is I, I, it didn't occur to me at all during the movie. But on the car ride home, I was like, I miss Paul Walker. Mm. That is one element that I know it's mm-hmm. a I know it's not an essential element. And as best as you try, you try to put other characters around it that made that same camaraderie. But there right. just is never going to be a substitution for 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 Brian and Don. Yeah, I mean, I know this is not going to be a popular opinion, but I don't think that he was missed much. I think Brian's character was I don't great. Think, I don't I think, think the he, exclusion he, of it. He had his welcome. Made the movie bad. He had his his movies he was in, but there's been movies without him that were fine, if not great. And I think that the relationship between those two, like, obviously, I'm not talking about Paul Walker. I'm talking of course, about yeah. the character Brian of Brian. <laughs> right. Like, it, we don't need anything more from him. Like, what? how things happened in Seven, it's like, you can't go bigger than that. You can't have more of a moment than but that. they're ride or die, man. I know, but, like, that's, unfortunately, the die happened. Wow. Well, no, oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Well, real I missed what was him in this oh. film, but um, I, it didn't. Take away. It was more at the end, like thinking because the baby is now named Brian. Brian. So I was like, oh, Brian. Like now I'm thinking about Paul Walker and I wish he was here and I wish he was in this film. Um, but I do like how they closed up his story and how he is going to be with his family now because um, I think that's important. Um, in terms of ranking, I wrote mine down really quickly. So maybe this could change really. Um, But I would say I still love seven the most because of how they closed up his story. Um, Followed by five, six. Then I'd put this one, um, three, one, four, and two. (laughs) Of course, because two should be on the bottom of everyone's list. That's I agree. Uh, so <laughs> some, my, some people call it the supports, the stilts that are supporting the entire series. <laughs> so That's two. Mine l- looks very foundation. similar to Brienne's. Um, I'd probably go... I would go six at the top for me, followed by seven. Wow, you guys. Five. <sighs> Fate of the Furious. Whoa. One we just saw. Um... Tokyo Drift. Ah, dude, I like I like four better than the first. You need to swallow your okay. microphone. And I show I, on it. <laughs> I like four better than people, the first. People give four a lot of shit. Right. It's just dated four and is like not, not bad. It's, it's not bad. It's ju- yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah it's I, not. It's I, a fun movie. I mean, I you know I didn't love it a whole lot more than one, but I do th- enjoyed it. I did enjoy it a little bit more. It's more of a modern action flick, which is kind of what I'm into. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and yes, I, I just want two to be written out of all of this. I don't want it to exist anymore. Yeah, but it's important, man. Roman. It brought us Roman. Oh, it brought us Luda. Fucking we hungry. It brought us so gin, bad. and we didn't get gin back. I can't imagine. Still holding out for gin. There are what people out there man? that really like Suki, part two. Yeah. Yeah. And Ava Mendes. Yeah. And Ava oh, well, she yes. did come back. She should come back. Which oh. is the weirdest thing. Like, she came she's back in the post credits and then never came back again. When was she in which by the In five. Yeah, she? she's yes. the one who brought the info showing uh, The Rock still that Lady's alive. Right. That's crazy. By the way, this movie not having a post credits is. Insulting to me. I wanted the post credits to be Han climbing out of the fucking, oh my climbing god, climbing out of the, the fire of his car like Anakin from that fucking pit, <laughs> you know, or just the lava float. It's like, I loved you. 
I mean, and I really feel like it, it, needed, it needed something, and especially <laughs> since they're trying to start this as the the mm-hmm. final trilogy of the the series, like. I don't know. Yeah. Build up the next one a bit more. Like they definitely, we know that Helen Mirren and her boys yes. are out there, and Charlie's Throne's still alive. Still there. So. She's clearly going to be the bad guy. Christopher Lloyd next. shows up, and he's like, Marty, "We got to go back." That's <laughs> yeah. Marty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so my thing with the ranking, and this is, it's a difficult thing for, for me, where I've never actually committed to it because I do think there's two rankings. There's my favorite, and then there's the best. I think undeniably five is the best. I don't think it'll ever be topped hmm. in terms of favorite. Six is my favorite. For sure, um, but in terms of ranking them like this, I would probably go go two five, columns, <laughs> five, six, seven, three, um, one, eight, four, two. I think that one and eight are almost interchangeable, where of how much I like them. Sure, and I think that three and seven, depending on when you talk to me. Yeah, I kind of feel because I love three so damn yeah. much. That's when I was like, "All right, I'm in." Because when you look at all of them, right, only three of these movies can stand alone as movies: one, three, and five. That's yeah, it. Yeah, pretty true. Like the rest five of them are very continuity heavy. But... I think that eight is the most continuity heavy oh, yeah. of mm-hmm. any of them for sure. Yeah, like if you had, like that's the that's that is the uh, one minor issue with eight that if you come in this is the first time you've seen a Fast and Furious movie you're gonna be real fucking lost. Yeah. Cool you're Greg not was not gonna know what's going on. <laughs> <happen. laughs> yeah, cool Greg just put his hood up for that a second and just kind of went to bed after a while. <laughs> yeah. um, that was his first Fast and Furious. Movie? I mean, he's seen he loves Tokyo Drift. Okay, the ball. but he hasn't seen uh, any since then. Okay, um, bring back Han. Bring back Han. Man. Bring back Hashtag. Han. Bring back both Hans. Bring back Han Solo as well. I want both of them to come back. Huh. We didn't see him die. Well, and, we and still Ru- have hey, that time traveling. Spoilers. We didn't, people yeah, say Darth right. Maul is still alive, right? He got cut in half well, and fell down a fucking giant thing. He is still alive. Spoilers. <laughs> not anymore. No, oh, did he die in Rebels? I mean, if we're going to really spoil things, he did. Well, shit. Sorry. It was fucking epic, though. Even if you know that, you should watch that shit. Holy shit. It was so cool. You watch it yet? No. <laughs> All right. Well, it's good. Go. Everyone came back for more. Hey, we're not trying to spoil things. He was like, yo, I got half a box of cereal in there. Half Wants to eat my lunch. The shit I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah you really spoiled. Um, Did you see it? No. My oh, ranking, my ranking totally always, like, really fucking about. shifts with the with, with, with a breeze. But uh, I'm going to still say that one is my favorite. I'm putting that on top. I, I love it. Your it's elders. got that it's is a got, garbage opinion, Nick. It's <laughs> got it's to me. It's the one I consistently go back to. Again, this we're, we're talking about. I'm not talking about the best Fast and Furious. I'm just saying the one that when it's on, I'm like, I got to watch this, right? That's um, Tokyo Drift for me. Tokyo Drift is very high on my list as well. So I got I got to go one. I got to go six next. Uh, I really and then these are movies that again I I it's on. I got to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, I would probably put close tie between five and three. I'll go ahead and give it to five, and then I'll go three, um, and then I will go. Oof, what do I f- see this one fitting in? I would probably have to go seven, then. Eight, then four, then what am I left with? Two. All right. Yep. So me and you both agree <laughs> that this movie is the third to worst. Yeah, I have to movie. say. I mean, well, not worst. Just like it's, when, it's, I, when I think about saying, the ones I yeah. want to go back and watch again. I feel like I want to go watch Tokyo Draft. I want to see one again. I want to see six again. I, I want to see five. I again. think that from this, I'm okay with this one. This one, Fate of the Furious, is the least good one. I think that Fast Four is. Is a fine movie, but I wouldn't say it's good. And I, then two I is like bad. Fast Four though. I, I like. I'm one, I of the, I'm one of the few I people that I'm like. I watched it again about like six it. months ago, and I was like, I like this movie. Braga, who's Braga? I'm like, it's clear that. I, guy. I, I, liked, <laughs> I liked Four, Brienne, because I, I thought that despite all of its faults and the, mm. the fact that I think that it is the least Fast and Furious movie of all of them, like I liked that it was different and that it had much more of a kind of we're running and fighting and like cop vibe to it. The tunnels were what took and then, me out well, of the it. T- I was the just tunnels like, I can't handle tunnels. Atrocious. Atrocious. And it was like a bad video game. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I thought that. Sorry, I'm pictures of Cool Greg right now. As he I eats, thought it was fine. As he eats <laughs> jelly, jelly beans, belly, jelly beans like, leaning against the wall. In a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do think that, f- I, like, for me in my rankings, I don't know, man. I I think the most recent ones are so close together, it's, like, hard to. It is hard. I, mm-hmm. I will, like, you know, probably, you know, change them up every once in a while. But I do think that. Like two is just so far. Like to for me, the fact that four is only two above, two ranks above two, 
seems like a crime, <laughs> but two shouldn't even be written on this fucking I know, paper. And, but look, should be. Like two is the only one two. we all agree on. Yeah. yeah, and then four we're pretty close. Four on. is pretty close down there. Yeah, I can't believe Our you guys. I can't believe you guys rank one so low on your list. Like all three, all you guys ranked one in the low in the bottom four. Because it just gets better. My, my thing is, I love four, but That's it's awesome. just, I think when it comes down to it, as a standalone movie, Tokyo Drift's better. And I also think Paul Walker's acting in part one was just really bad. Mm -hmm. I like the Italian job better than I like Point start, Break, not, and that's why I like. <laughs> that's fair. Five better than one. Same. Here, here's the thing: we're not going to talk about acting in this series. That yeah, does, that, you can't. You, you got to take that out. I mean, but you it was just take that it out was really, franchise. really bad though. <laughs> just stop. Oh. You can just stop because that's that's when you start tugging on the thread of like, are these anywhere? Like, just. Hey, I want to give a shout out to acting to Vin Diesel. He showed us a whole new range of emotion in this movie. He, he before one we've only seen sure. angry or happy. But now we've seen hey, sad. Hey, hey, hey. We, we seen now sad. know what sad Vin Diesel no, looks like. We do know what Vin, sad Vin Diesel looked like. Yeah. I thought Juilliard that, is really paying off. This? Yeah. He killed <laughs> me, crushed it. Killed it. Michelle Rodriguez, though. She's still here. Still, Ladies still and gentlemen, standing. let us know what you think of Fate of the Furious <laughs> in the comments below. Uh, what's your ranking? I want to see a whole bunch of numbers in the in Two the, better in the be chat. at the bottom of all and, of them. And uh, bonus points for the people that put Turbocharged, Los Bandoleros, and oh, yeah. Better Luck Tomorrow in there. Until next time. What about Need for Speed? No. No, no, no. We don't talk about Need for Speed here. We're a fast family now. <laughs>